Long ago, the giant Carlon tree, the essence of balance and order in the world, withered and died. By the will of the heavens, the world was cleaved in two. Many years later, the Chosen of Regeneration planted a new world tree to take the place of the withered giant Carlon tree. The birth of the new world tree also brought about the unification of Silverant and Tether Allah. The two worlds were now reborn as one. The world was at the dawn of a bright new era, or so it seemed. With their high level of technological prowess, the Tetha Alan civilization looked down upon the people of Silverant as barbarians. The Silveranti blamed the Chosen of Regeneration for bringing this world into being, as they turned their backs on the Church of Martel that supported her. Amidst all of this chaos, the world itself began to cry out. Scorching hot deserts were blanketed with snow. Bountiful lakes dried up and withered. Forests burned to ash as glaciers melted into the sea. These phenomena fanned the flames of dissatisfaction within the hearts of the people, leading to the birth of a monster. A resistance organization was formed by the oppressed people of Silverant to defend themselves. United against the perceived evils of Tetha Allah and the Church of Martel, they called themselves the Silverante Liberation Front, the Vanguard. This way! Hurry! <laughs> yes. Emil, hurry! We must get away or we'll all be killed by Lloyd! Who did you say is going to kill you? Lloyd Irving! The people of Palma Costa have aided the Vanguard and undermined the authority of the Church of Martel and the Chosen. The punishment for this crime is death! <laughs> Emil! Run! Get away from here! Help me. Help me, 
you had a task? Are you all right? Are you the one who saved me? It's Tenebrae's howl. I have to go. Wait! What's your name? Emil, you came back. Oh dear, I can't even see your face. I, I'm not going to last much longer. But you, you have to live. You have to run before Lloyd comes back. Go to Lewin, to your Aunt Flora. <laughs> Mom. That... I feel like I've heard it before. Maybe it's just my imagination. Good morning, Aunt Flora. That how? Monsters have been going down into the lake bed since dawn. I I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Uh, um. Despicable child, always so indecisive. You're hardly like Lana at all. You must take after Raysol. I'm sorry. Lloyd. Hey, Emil, we saw that. Bow to Lloyd the Great. I, I already did. No, no you, you didn't. didn't.
You don't like Lloyd the Great, do you? That's why you're trying to destroy our city. Because Lloyd restored it to its former beauty. What, what are you talking about? Don't, don't act dumb. dumb. Ever since you came here, Lake Sanoa's dried up and there are more monsters. You're planning on getting your monster friends to attack the town, aren't you? Uh, of course not. Okay, then prove it. What? Swear your allegiance to Lloyd the Great right now. If you do that, then we'll believe you. Come, Come on, on, let's, let's hear, hear it. it. <laughs> What's the matter? Swear it. <laughs> no, I won't. Lloyd killed my parents, and I'll never swear allegiance to that murderer! We heard that. So that's how you really feel, huh? No, that's not what I meant to say. Shut up, you monster! We'll teach you a lesson! Ugh! Get lost. Who the hell are you? I said go. Um, I am. You, you are. Um, yes. What is it? Never mind. You know, you should stand up for yourself. What is it? Maybe this was a bad idea. If you've got nothing to say, then I've got something to ask you. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. So they said that your name is Emil. Well, Emil, have you seen a girl around here with a red jewel on her forehead? What? Uh, I, um... No, sir. What are you so nervous about? Uh, I, uh... Courage is the magic that turns dreams into reality. Huh? Their words, a human with a few screws loose said long ago. When you refused to swear allegiance to Lloyd, didn't you feel courage welling up inside of you? Those who would grovel and beg, or run away at the first sight of another's anger, are dogs, or even worse. Are you a dog, or are you really a man? I... I'm... Uh... <laughs> Just try to do your best to be a man, Emil.
is really amazing. Are you a dog or are you really a man? I could never say anything like that to someone. They'd only get angry at me. Uh, wait, maybe I should have gotten angry at him. like monsters are calling me. It's because of stuff like this that make people say it's my fault that monsters keep appearing. I've got to ignore it. It's just my imagination. But it's so hard to ignore. Alba, what is it? Is something wrong? Uh, Uncle Alba. <laughs> what do you want? Get the hell out of here, you little nuisance. I'm sorry. That happened. But... Those who would grovel and beg, or run away at the first sight of another's anger, are dogs, or even worse. Should I do? I've made it this far, but... yet. Are you gonna fight with me? Oh, healing power. 
There, good work. It's pretty dangerous here, so you should probably get going. Hey, it's you! Huh? What do you mean? You don't... you don't remember me, do you? Maybe I'm wrong, but you look just like him. Well, what are you talking about? It's nothing, never mind, I'm sorry. Anyway, you should leave here as soon as you can, okay? Uh, wait a minute. Yes, what is it? I'm in a hurry. I, I wanted to thank you for saving me. My name's Emil. So, um, what's your name? I'm Marta. Is that it? If it's dangerous here, then... I wonder if that guy is still in town. He'll probably be happy if I tell him about that girl Marta. It's strange, though. She seemed like she knew me. Have I met her before? I think I'd remember a cute girl like her. She must be confusing me with someone else. Yeah, must be. You little... What are you doing here? Emil. Oh, uh, do you already? <laughs> I asked him earlier. Ah. Um. What is it? Well, um, the girl with the red jewel on her forehead, I. You saw Marta? Yes, well. Where? Oh, well, um. Just calmed. <laughs> Can I count on you to. Apologize. So, uh, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Come on, let's go. Oh, wait! There are... 
Emil, what do you want to do? I... Emil, you stay with us! I... Make up your mind. Even dogs can think for themselves. Come on, you're a man! Speak up! Who the hell does he think he is? really laid into you. Why didn't you say anything back? I'm sorry. You were like that with the kids in town as well. Bullies like that will never leave you alone if you don't stand up to them. Do you understand? Nothing will change if you just take it. Uh, I'm sorry. What did I say about over-apologizing? Oh, right. I'm not blaming you. You're free to do as you choose. Just don't be so submissive all the time. Have more respect for yourself. I can't tell if Richter's a nice guy or not. Oh. 
just... Watch. If things get dangerous, will you save me again? Now. No. Then I'll just have to destroy it along with you. I'm not... What are you... Step... I'm not a dog. That's why... I'm gonna make my own decisions. Amy? Monster? I am not a beast. I too am a centurion. Centurion Tenebrae. Centurion Tenebrae? You could never defeat the monster on the other side of this door as you are now. Forge a pact to become a knight of Ratatosk. But... Uh... Now... Well then. Yes. 
south. Do. Yeah. Do. I'm alive. I guess he decided not to kill us. Lady Marta, Centurion Lumen's core is... It's gone! Uh, are you talking about a white jewel? I, I think that Lloyd took it with him. He took it? Are you sure? Yeah. Was it important? Yes. Centurion Lumen's core is essential to our journey. Lady Marta, let's hurry. You and I must go after them. <sighs> okay, but first... Thank you so much, Emil. I really appreciate you saving me once again. I didn't do anything. I mean... I was pretty much useless. But you did save me. You became a knight. A knight of Ratatosk. That's why you were able to save me, right? I always thought that you would make a wonderful knight. It's true. That's what I thought ever since the first time we met. You what? <laughs> it's okay. I guess that it just wasn't as memorable for you. But honestly, I'm very grateful to you for saving me. What would I have done without you? Uh, um... Lady Marta, we must hurry. Yes, you're right. Emil? Would you help us, just until we make it out of this place? Uh, sure. Marta is kind of a strange girl. <laughs> <laughs> 